Dear Channel. That's that's like the news. Dear Channel. Dear Dear Channel. Cicero, sorry. Hello, listener. I think it would just be less creepy if I just said hello. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> hello, Catherine. Now that I'm finished for the summer, I actually have time to be doing this. And when I say I have time, I mean I, I really have time. Like I finished about uh, a week ago, and I've literally done nothing for that entire week. I was going to do something productive, but I ended up just sitting with the PS3 and switching between games and Netflix. Just chilling with my mates. You know, hanging out, as you do. I completely lost my train of thought there. Someone must have flipped the track. This start screen is gorgeous. I love this. Ow! Don't shoot me! Ouch! Ow! Ow! Oh, I died. I died. I died. <laughs> Yeah, I blame, I blame you for that. In relation to what you were saying, Catherine, I think, yes, now you've done your exams, if you've finished, there's nothing you can do at this point that's going to change your outcome. I also agree that feeling stressed about receiving your results isn't something that should be happening, although I think that saying you shouldn't be stressed is a whole lot easier than not actually feeling the stressedness, especially if the results you get are going to completely alter what you end up doing next year. For you, as you said, it's more a case of wanting good grades than actually needing them. But for a majority of people who have further education in mind for next year, these grades could depend on whether they're able to go on and do that. Now, I know that you could resit and do another year and go next year, but yeah, not preferable. But I do agree that feeling stressed about something that's already happened, that you no longer have any control over, isn't going to change its outcome and you should enjoy your carefree summer while it lasts because wow nothing just endless stretch of nothing into the distance also Catherine I would like to bring your attention to a possible comeback Pluto the revolution has begun our poor little 4.6 billion year old baby has been through a lot since it was stripped of its planetary status in 2006 but now it's making a comeback our dear little pluto has at least five moons and is estimated 1471 miles across which compared to eris which everyone thought was bigger than pluto is only 1445 miles across finally the biggest comeback from everyone's favourite tiny god of the underworld. It has an atmosphere! We won't know the exact diameter of Pluto until around July 2015, when NASA's craft will go whizzing by and take lots of pictures, but there is hope. We may live to see this day. We may see our Pluto rise from the ashes and be reborn as god of the underworld. Well, maybe just gone that bit after Neptune, but... The Underworld! So, Catherine, get your Pluto is a Planet t-shirt and stock up on the streamers, and I will see you next week. The Revolution. Vive la Revolution. Vive la Revolution. I would just like to say, for future reference, when doing spooky makeup, do it after you film the whole video. Otherwise, you have to spend about half an hour getting it off so that you don't look like you've stuck your face in a bucket of mud before doing the video because yeah okay I'm done um wait uh yeah I'm done bye <laughs>